running a business in Omaru has, it, has its pros and cons. I mean, it's a small community and you need to understand how to work and um, thrive in that community to, to really get the best out of it. And in saying that, you know, the, the cons of probably challenges with recruitment and skilled staff, and that can cause major problems when it comes to, say, compliance or standard of work and skills. But in saying that, on the other side of the coin is that you can, once you get, you do get skilled, well skilled people in, they become your, your greatest assets and then, you know, you can become an, an attractive employer and then, then the best people uh, gravitate towards you. I guess with a small community, um, one of the strengths of that and, and a, a one thing that we've learned along the way is, is going outside of the community to bigger, being better, isn't always true and we've learned, for us in particular, that's not true. We've stuck local and use local tradesmen and those tradesmen come in and when they're doing the, the standard of work that they're doing is really great but they're doing it in a way that they know that they're going to see you in the community, they might see you out on a Friday night or they might see you at the, at the sports ground so the work, when they're doing their work they actually give a shit, they really care and they want to make sure that they do the best for you so that you do well and then they'll do well as well because they become reliant on that work. So that's one of those learnings that we've had with a small town. It's, the skills are there and, and we recognise that and it's, yeah, it's a really strong attribute. Things like an IT recovery system, you know, local guys, they've, they've come in, they've worked on Saturdays, they've come in after hours, they've come immediately and if we were working with an outside contractor they might be logging in remotely and oh gee, we'll get around to have a look at that and oh, you, you silly things and we'll, we'll get around to fixing it. But with a local guy, they've set up the system in the first place and then they know what the fault is and how to fix it as quickly as possible. So even when we say an IT recovery example, when we're rebuilding it, we're going to stick with those local people and then they'll give us um, exactly what we need and provided that their skills are up to spec, which they are, and then if there's a problem further down the line, they know exactly where to go. So it's, it's not only having the same person, but it's keeping that local element as well, that they, they really care. Being local keeps you really on your toes, um, not only as a, um, I guess, a, a, a conscious employer that you're treating all your employees with respect and, and being a good corporate citizen locally because you're, you're accountable to these people in your community, but also when you go out into the community to get some work done, um, they're accountable back to you. So an example being a mechanic, you know, they're, they're going to do a good job for you and want, want to retain your business. And they know that in small towns that people talk and it, it doesn't take long for things to unravel if they're not doing their job correctly or, or being accountable. So we take that philosophy in t internally with us as well, that we're really accountable to all the people that we deal with locally, but also our staff and our teams. We, we foster a good positive culture so that we want to be known as a, a good employer and, and try to be a good employer.